Manuka honey has some truly amazing health benefits and is now being used around the world for healing wounds, tumors, and autoimmune diseases. But what can Manuka honey do for your eyes? In this video, we're gonna review five amazing health benefits of Manuka honey eye drops that I bet you, and even your doctor, probably didn't know about. Let's take a look. <laughs> Eyes and shine there, my friends. Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn everything about the eyes and keeping them healthy. The first amazing benefit of Manuka honey is that it works as an antibacterial. In fact, since 1999, when it was first approved as a medical treatment for wound care in Australia, the treatments for Manuka honey have just expanded across the globe. Now, Manuka honey comes from a pollen that's collected from a specific tree that is found in New Zealand and Eastern Australia. And the name is kind of tough, so I'm, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. But within this honey, they have found hydrogen peroxide, polyphenol compounds, and a large amount of a compound called methyl glyoxal, which is believed to be responsible for its potent antimicrobial properties. And while Manuka honey eye drops have not been specifically approved for marketing or treatment as an antibiotic for different eye infections, it has been shown in many studies to be effective at killing off tons of these different types of microbes, including Staphylococcus aureus, which is commonly found on the eyelids leading to eye infections. And there has been some studies showing that Manuka honey does help with blepharitis on human eyelids, as well as on rabbits, and Manuka honey even has a synergistic effect with other antimicrobial medications for really tough infections such as MRSA. So yes, once again, Mother Nature is doing something right. The second amazing benefit of Manuka honey is that it helps with inflammation. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos on what causes dry eye syndrome, one of the most significant key players is inflammation. In fact, inflammation plays a huge role in just the vicious cycle, self perpetual nature of what dry eye is. And it's one of the main target things that I need to treat as an eye doctor when I see dry eyes. One way we test for the presence of inflammation on the eye in the clinic is using what is called an MMP9 test called matrix metalloproteinase 9, which is an enzyme that's released when surface epithelial cells of the eyeball are stressed out and being damaged. And a study published in 2017 did show that patients who were using Manuka honey eye drops twice a day for two months did show a decreased level of MMP9 versus controls, which was just honestly a pretty cool result to see coming out of something like just Manuka honey. The third amazing benefit of Manuka honey is that it helps with my bone gland dysfunction and helps stabilize the evaporation rate of the tear film. My bone gland dysfunction, again, is a huge player in the development of dry eyes, but is where the oil glands of the eyelids stop producing as well. And that leads to a very thin layer of oil on the tear film and a very quick evaporation rate. And in that same 2017 study, they were able to show improvements in my bone gland dysfunction, as well as the secretions, leading to a full step of improvement in their MGD scores, as well as increased tear breakup time. And and while the study did not report statistically significant improvement in redness scores, take a look at this image with the dilation of the conjunctival vessels. I mean, people keep asking me how to get rid of red eyes and it's kinda right here. Reduce the inflammation and bring homeostasis back to the tear film. Otherwise, I have to say that's like a really good photo, the one with all the oil coming out. That's what I see in most people coming into the clinic. Like seriously, if you had a slit lamp microscope like I have in the clinic, most people's eyes kinda look like this. And the fourth amazing benefit of Manuka honey is that it can fight demodex mites on the eyelids and eyelashes. In a 2018 study, they found that Manuka honey was just as effective at controlling demodex mite infestation as 50% tea tree oil. And you haven't seen my more recent video about tea tree oil and the eyes, 50% tea tree oil is a very, very high concentration. And with high concentrations of tea tree oil being associated with burning of the eyelids, Manuka honey has not been associated with any adverse events. So if demodex mites or ocular rosacea is a concern, then perhaps Manuka honey could be a possible treatment. And finally, number five on our list is that Manuka honey works as a potent anti antioxidant. If you recall earlier in the video, I mentioned that Manuka honey has high concentrations of what are called polyphenols. Polyphenols are a compound that's found in plants that works as a very strong 
antioxidant. And oxidative stress plays a huge role in several eye diseases, including dry eyes, also more notably cataract development and macular degeneration. Now I'm not going out and saying that Manuka honey is going to specifically treat or prevent any of these diseases because right now the evidence is just isn't there yet. I couldn't find any studies specifically linking use of Manuka honey to preventing any of these diseases like cataracts or macular degeneration. However, it is at least implicated in the studies, specifically at least on dry eye, that the antioxidant properties of Manuka honey is one of the key players in its anti-inflammatory effects and has been kind of elucidated as a significant area of research going forward. But still, to have research that supports that there's an eye drop that kills bacteria and microbes, stabilizes the tear film and helps with your oil glands, reduces inflammation and works as an antioxidant, that's super cool. Now, before you go out and start buying Manuka honey eye drops, I do want to give a huge disclaimer as well as just my personal experience using these eye drops in my own eyes. First of which is that in this video, all the studies that I referenced, they are very new studies. It's new research as well as having generally a lower amount of people are participating in these studies. So if only about 100 people in each study or so. However, there was a more recent meta-analysis looking over a lot of the same studies and did conclude and find them credible. Another thing I want to mention is that Manuka honey is in fact not something I learned about in my schooling. It's something I first heard about in the comments section here on YouTube. So huge shout out to you and everybody who comments and asks questions because that drives me to dig into the research and make videos like this. And ultimately it helps me become a better doctor. So. Thank you. And if you happen to want to read any of the research that I referenced in this video, and I do suggest that you do that, uh, I'll put links to all of the references in the YouTube description below, below that like button. And as far as my own personal experience using the eye drops, I got these off of Amazon for about $20, and I've been using them a couple of times a day for a few weeks. And the one thing I will mention is if you ever try it, the drops do burn or sting a little bit. And in fact, if you read the back, uh, they even kind of give that as a warning. However, the burning really isn't that bad. It's something where, uh, just like with most eye drops, you put it in, it's best to close your eyes and keep your eyes closed for about 20 to 30 seconds. That way uh, you don't blink several times and flush out the active ingredients down your drainage canals. I'm not entirely sure if it's the honey that causes the burning sensation or if it's the glycerin that it's also like compounded in because glycerin is also known to cause a burning stinging sensation on the eye. But other than the burning sensation, when you use the drops, uh, I otherwise my eyes have been feeling pretty good and uh, I guess time will tell. We'll have to do a uh, dry eye evaluation at the clinic and, and see how my eyes are doing. But definitely before you go and start self-treating, I always recommend you do talk with a local eye care professional to get a proper diagnosis and treatment of any eye disease. And as always, if you found value in this video, hit that like button for us and subscribe to the channel for more or health related content just like this. Otherwise, to learn more about natural dry eye treatments, check out this next video.